What up, my freaks? Ruinous in sight here. Welcome you back to the Adventures of Corsair Khan and part 61 of my Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Kuzet Khanet campaign. So as we saw last time, we have whittled down a lot of the forces belonging to the Northern Empire in this area, so hopefully we can make some more gains towards the... Uh, I don't know, this part of the map, I suppose. We still have to pick one part. We could go for all this part. It would leave them open. I was thinking about linking up with Argaron by taking all these northern territories, and that's probably what we're going to try to do with, uh, or go with, or rather. Now, there was an update, so now we can see some different things. Looks like we can see Ilatar's army on the map, despite the fact that we can't, uh, we can't see ex exactly... I mean, we clearly can't see this with our characters. So yeah, it looks like some interesting stuff. And uh, I don't I haven't really read the patch, so I'm hoping that there's nothing too crazy. Oh, oh, looks like our bow skills got reset, so we'll have to deal with that in a second. This one's still kind of uh picked for what? Are you kidding me? It forces us to use merry men. Why would it do this? But we're mounted archers. Oh, that really game? Really? Are you kidding me? What in the hell is this? Wow, that's absolute trash. <laughs> Our mounted accuracy penalty. <laughs> okay, and then this one got reset. Yeah, these resets are a bit weird, but whatever. Uh, let's see, Swift Strike, Governed Settlements having Swing Speed versus... Increases your damage with axes and maces, which we will never use, so Swing Speed is better than nothing. There we go, and Bow Skill, let's see what we got. Reduce accuracy penalty by mo by moving. Bow equipped troops in your formation gain plus 5% damage with bows. We do have a lot of bow units. Uh, bow equipped troops in your formation gain plus 20 archery skill. And increases headshot damage by 30% with bows. Huh. That's interesting. I do tend to aim for the head. And reduces accuracy penalty by moving. That's also interesting, but is it worth it? Oh damn, this is a hard choice. Do we increase their damage straight up by 20%? Or do we increase their archery skill? What would get what would the skill increase actually do? Uh let's see. Our bow skill increases our damage by 20. So how much would 20 archery skill how much damage would it translate to? 20 out of 20 is from 180? Or is oh, or is this from buffs? Like what would the actual archery skill translate into? I, I would really like to know that. Hmm. But I'm I'm tempted to go for the extra uh, headshot damage because that'll save us a lot of arrows in the long run. Because most of the time we stand still and any time we get... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. It increases Corsaro's personal power pro possibly at the, uh, at the expense of our troops' damage. But you know what? I do expect these to switch up eventually, so we'll see, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Ranger's Swiftness decreases your reload penalty by 50... Movement penalty by 50%. Bow equipped troops in your formation gain plus 5% to their foot movement speed. Don't care about that. Bow equipped troops in your formation ignores 5% of enemies' armors. Yes, a bodkin, of course. Rapid Fire increases your bow reload speed by 25%. Ooh, 5% reload for the entire party. Versus Quick Adjustments decrease your bow accuracy lost due to rotating. Eh. Plus 5 accuracy. No, I think we're going to go with the bow reload speed. Put more arrows in the air for the entire army. Like so. Trainer, every day the party member with the lowest bow skills gains experience in bow. Bow equipped troops in your party gain small amount of XP every day. Versus tier 3 troops in your formation gain plus 5 damage with bows. In your formation. What formation do you lead? But it also straight up increases our bow damage. Yeah, you know what? Screw the XP. Let's go strong bows over trainer. Ancy Hunter Clan increases your damage against mounts with bows. <laughs> oh, okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, let's see, and discipline. You can hold your aim 50% longer without losing accuracy. We, I pretty much never hold aim, so I think we're going to have to go with damage against mounts. Hunter Clan, sure. And then let's see, Eagle Eye 1.5, zoom with bows. Oh, hello. Increases visual range in campaign by 10% versus you take 10% less damage from range attacks. I take it that includes javelins. I would really love the extra zoom, but the fact is we have to go with the skirmish phase master. Assuming that javelins count as range damage, but I would think that they do. That is the bane of course our existence. All right, well, that is fixed up. I do want to just double check our formations real quick. I did want to do that... Uh, I probably should have done that between the episodes. Wait, so Corsaro can't actually pick the form his formation, unlike everybody else. 
Okay. Well, Liana, you need to be in formation three. Well, you are in formation three. Idruna, you are in formation one. You should definitely not be in formation one. That's for certain. You are going to be in formation three as well, along with Liana. Thalea, you are also going to be in formation three. I know that these guys... I know that they have bows, but their bow skill is not nearly as high as their fighty skill, so I'm going to not... Uh, I'm going to use them as cav and not mount, and you, however, I think you can fire fairly well, so you can be a horse archer, right? Uh, yeah, you got good bow skills and crossbow skills, yeah, you can be a horse archer, buddy, and yeah, Thalea, I mean, she's got decent bow skills, but the polearm skill, and Adruna's the same way, isn't she? Yeah, 200 on the uh, two-handed sword, oh, but she's using one-handed, but it's still 155, it's still better than the bow, although her bow is pretty good, that's no, fine. I think it's fun. Plus, if they if they charge in as Cav, since they can't die, I like that a little bit more. We just also gotta put Hawker the Scholar into the Horse Archer form. No, you have Javins, you have no bow. Well, let's put you in the regular Cav formation then. There we go. Alright, done with that. Formations are fixed up. Let's get to wherever the hell we were going. Relationship decrease with somebody. I don't actually remember where we were going last time. Hidden, ah, hidden Hand just left. A nice try, Hidden Hand. Uh, that's why we keep you in our party. Uh, we just have to be able to actually select you. Right here. <laughs> uh, something I'd like to discuss. Serve us. Join us. Join my army. Nice try, you jerk out. <laughs> uh, this is why I will always keep our mercenaries in our party. Uh, I must leave now. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm permanently hovering my hand over the... Uh, over the button to get these guys back. Alrighty, now we could head out towards Amitatus. Uh, I think Ilatar. I don't know where Ilatar's army is going, actually. Why would you leave Canopsis just... With Why would you do that? Weird. Alright, well, we'll head to Canopsis ourselves, then. Uh, let's do that. Hopefully nobody else tries to leave. Wait, is that a caravan? Uh, can we catch up with them? No, I think they're a little bit too fast, aren't they? Yeah, screw it. I was gonna hope to buy food that they have. I have no idea where you're going, Ilatar. And we do have little armies around here, which is nice. And I would like to get some more mercenaries, but we will need to find them to talk to them. Most Canopsis here is kind of isolated from the enemy, which is also kind of helpful. There's a lot of defenders here in Sestadim now, so we can just ignore it, basically. Joron, yeah, we're going to be ignoring everybody here. Ignore them all. Mina, I mean, there's a fair few amount of them. I thought we had cleared them out, but well, let's go siege Canopsis. And then that'll mean... Still nobody's taken Lavinia. We're gonna have to do it ourselves, aren't we? Of course. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not remotely surprised? Where the hell are you going, Ilatar? An office is being raided by Mattis of the Hands Party, the Horde of Jagged Ties. Well, 373 defenders. Okay, looks like well this will have to be a legit siege. I saw combat here. Oh, yeah, they'll be fine. Oh, uh, they'll be fine. Yeah, we are going to need to actually destroy this thing with our siege engines this time around. And our party, I guess somebody got to level up. Raise the Meek is not working. You have 439, 474. Yeah, Raise the Meek should be working on Hillman and Brigand, but it's not. Shame. Uh, we get this mercenary horse to join us, can't we? Oh, damn, I forgot that we have a bunch of uh, prisoners. We should have put them in, uh, in Cestadine. Oh, well. Right now, they're probably going to escape while they're in the party. But it is what it is. Alright, Idrun, I don't care about you. I don't care about any of this. I'll let us proceed to... Oh, wait, damn. Do the Varos like us? Well, if they do, they won't like us much longer. Besiege the castle, please. Yeah, 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 they did like us. Damn, they're like the only faction of these guys that still like them. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well. Let's get those trebuchets started, shall we? Like so. And one Onager. There we go. And... Moving on, just got it. Well, got in the Horde of Jagadai has been taken prisoner by Fenoria of the Northern Empire. Hopefully she doesn't siege something, and if she does, we can hopefully take it back ourselves. I'm not going to bother building any of these constructs, although I do wonder if any updates have happened to the uh, siege mechanics, because that will be just swell. Alright, start building those trebs. Uh, something else in the party... Nobody's leaving the kingdom. We do have a bunch of influence. I think that we is this is raised the make yet. Wait, you have 445. What was it before? No, you have 42. Brigands definitely aren't rising. But what about Hillman? A 445. I gotta try to pay attention to that one. Uh, yeah. Let's us go to our kingdom tab for one second. Need to resolve the owner of the Phaikaon decision. 
I don't remember whether I wanted this place for Corsaro, but he's not an option. Vildur, you belong to the Toga... Toga Roving. I... Who do we give this to? 60-20. Uh... I don't know. Harunag already has a ton of stuff. We can't be given... You know, I'll just give it to Vildor. I think we just give it to Vildor. They have, what, one, two castles, four castles, whereas Ilatar has... four castles, and Harunag has 800,000 million things, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, nothing else for Harunag. I guess we'll just give it to Vildor, and then the next thing we'll give it to Ilatar. They're both at 33%, so either way... Wait, this is at 34 now? What the hell? How did... It was just 33-33, wasn't it? Ah, whatever. Enjoy. Enjoy. I, I, I could be taking more cities for Corsaro, but I just... I just don't really care that much at this point. Uh, Phikaeon, I don't remember how powerful it was of a city anyway. We'll just pay attention to the next really good city and then we'll take it for Corsaro. Not that we really need it. We, we're, we're pretty good in terms of money. Parabaldo, the Brotherhood of the Horde, has been taken prisoner. Okay, but we, he hasn't left the kingdom. We need to keep an eye on our food because we are definitely running out. And there we go. There's that trip. to reserve and go back to full speed. Right, right, right. These guys are going to be moving around and nothing important looks like it's happening in... The announcements and Trev is done. A move to reserve. And they did seem to hit it. Now let's make our next Trev. Damn, we're sharing a lot of food with this army. We're we gonna have to find some. We're gonna have to find something to take it. And so down a little bit and almost done. There we go. Next, speed it back up. <laughs> uh, I still think sieges are so stupid. And oh, cohesion. Was not paying attention to that. Almost bad. Done. Uh, do we need... Wait, wait, We have the Brotherhood, we have the Hand, and we have... I think we have all the Mercs in our party, right? Brotherhood, Hand, and... Wait, who else? The Hand. Wait. Malbert is the leader of who? I don't remember. Leader of somebody. Malbert is... The company of the Golden Boar, yes, yes, okay. And that's fine. He can just stay in there. You know what, yeah, let's go to Kingdom. Vote to Glare War in the Northern Empire has failed with major support. I don't know whether that's our vote or somebody else's vote. I have a feeling it's somebody else's. Uh, company of the Golden Boar, you are still serving us as mercenaries. Karenios, you have, what's our rep with you? 50 relation, I think everybody else is maxed out, so you're the ones that we need to keep a little bit happy so that you don't leave. Let's give you, I don't know. Let's get you up to, let's say, 60. How are we at now? 58? Eh, maybe a little bit more. Well, let's keep 800 influence so that we can vote if we need to, but until then... There we go, 73, alright. Uh, make it 75. There we go. Alrighty, and let's get to sieging in a second or two. There we go. Move to reserve. Are you guys going to turn? Yep, they're all turning. Then we're going to get the trebs up and about. Oh, this one didn't actually get hit. Go figure. All right, start destroying those onagers. Or catapults. But be quick about it, please. And a bunch of stuff happened. I'm not entirely sure what it was. Not paying too much attention. Relationship decrease. Varagos Castle has been taken. Well, we're about to take a castle ourselves. At least, hopefully soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A bunch of stuff happened. I don't know what it was. <laughs> All right, it is what it is. As long as nobody leaves, I'm happy. Especially while we're sieging. That's the most annoying bit. If an, uh, if somebody leaves our kingdom while we're sieging, or leaves our army while we're sieging, we have to stop the siege to get them back. And that's just that's just infuriating, because how long it takes to build stuff. Take the castle. And I don't want to lose troops taking the castle the old-fashioned way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Owner of Varagos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Keep attacking. We should be able to crack those walls real soon. Barter offer accepted. There's another catapult coming up. Is it going to destroy our treb fairly soon? We've got 36 days remaining. Settlement Varagos is besieged by Charlie Arcalia. Uh, considering we just took that, that's probably going to... Whoa! We're going to be following that army. Uh, let's crack... Oh, damn. I wonder where they're going. They're pro... Oh, they're going to retake Phi on. 
That's a shame. Hopefully we can attack their camp while that's happening. In the meantime, let's just finish this. Come on, come on, crack those walls. Crack those walls, please. Faster. Harder. Faster. You know what I mean. You heard me. We gotta follow that big ol' army. Catapult, blah, blah, blah. Mezzoe of the Northern has been ransomed. Alright, come on. Oh, this one is almost correct. Talog created an army. Uh, we gained one influence. Our food is still okay-ish. There we got one crack, and then let's get another one. Come on. Almost there. As soon as they're both up, we're going. Hopefully they don't take Fike on before we get there. And, yes, yeah, so much stuff is happening there. Okay, just destroy this last catapult and we're, and we're going. We don't want our troops to get killed by that. There we go. And now we will lead the assault. Almost sent troops by accident. I live in fear of the day I accidentally click that and we lose our entire army. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder how much the enemy army got reduced in terms of its uh, units. But whatever, we're just going to tell our entire army to charge, basically. Plus, we got extra headshot damage now. Good. Good. Breach, breach, begin assault. Rosaro. Alright, everybody is going. And let's go through the breach. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies up here. Perfect. Oh, wow, these guys are getting through. Uh, gonna be kind of hard to hit them up there. Yeah. Oh, wow, it takes a long time to aim. Now, what the hell? Is this because we lost the buff to horse archery? Damn. I mean, we're still doing a lot of damage. An Imperial Legionary just died to these garbage units? Come on, guys. Come on. Be better than that. Oh, that guy just died as our arrow was getting there. And, yeah, well, I'm surprised at how many units we're losing. Oh. Ow. Damn you, wall. How dare you do your job. Nobody said you could. Alright, let's get let's get through the breach here, shall we? Ah, uh, they're also moving up here so we can freely fire. Bro, you know, oh, I should have gotten off the horse. That's what I should have done. I say as I keep shooting while on the horse. But it was providing extra range, I suppose, or better angles anyway. Down you go, Sergeant Crossbow. These guys are running, but we might as well kill a few of them. Unless we miss. Yeah, the extra zoom would have really helped. And I believe uh, that's it for this siege. Oh, yeah. This time the army moved through. As long as we have the breaches, we can definitely uh, fill them up with troops. There we go. We done here? Why aren't you guys cheering? Who's still alive? Make way. Following the troops until we find whoever's still alive out here. Oh, they're all facing one direction and... Okay, now they're happy. Somebody died up here. Was it, was it this guy? You made us waste an extra couple minutes. I just want to check out this map. Ah, oh, nice little, uh, nice little castle. You, you. Alrighty, and we lost 10 units, but it's mostly Corsaro's party that we care about. So let's take a look here. We lost two, being an elite cataphract and a mercenary scout. Don't care about the uh, scout too much, but that's disappointing. Come on, elite cataphract. Not for this. Why would you? All right, we oh, we still can't recruit these guys. Uh, we'll take the Imperial Crossbow, and we will take the Veteran Infantrymen. There's some Foresters here. I guess we could take a couple of Trained Archers, but we already have plenty of them. Ah, now these guys upgrade. Beautiful. Uh, you can upgrade to Brigands, I guess, right? Yeah, we upgrade you to Brigands. Yeah, I put them up here so that they would spawn earlier, and then we could actually make use of them. And then you're going to upgrade to Highwaymen, and then towards uh, Banner Knights. Alrighty. There we go. Now we need more of these guys. And you can replace the Elite Cataphract that died, and... Oh, so we can replace the Cataphract. Huh. Did the XP thing change? Maybe it did. Uh, regular Cataphracts, and we got a Druzhnik to Champion. We got a Equite to a Heavy Horse. And let's see, what's our party at here? We are missing two troops, so let us get... Kind of time to get these tribal warriors in here. Or at least the one tribal warrior. Get you in here and an Equite. Oh, there's a Highwayman here. Oh, wait, do any of these brigands want to join up? Uh, no, does not look like it. And I think those are the only ones we have. We really need to catch some more of those to get more of our rare units, but it is what it is. Mercenary horsemen, what do you become? Oh, you just become a mercenary cav. I'll take the equity. Done. 
Take whatever garbage they're willing to give us by value. Rusty Spata with full with narrow fuller. Yeah. Done. And there we go. Relationship. Oh my word, that's a lot of relationship reduction. If only our idiot uh, allies were willing to actually take stuff, I would have just. Okay. Uh, I would have let them take this themselves instead of screwing up our rep, but it is. Once again, what it is. That's the, uh, that's the motto for this episode. Or the catchphrase. What did. Huh, why did this glow red? Why was there an exclamation mark here if we didn't actually upgrade anything? Bizarre. Okay. Okay, well, that's done, and now we gotta proceed. Now, there are a bunch of villages. Oh, right, right, right. Let's head out to uh, Phaikeon, find that army, kill that army. It's not being sieged yet. Owner of Canopsis Castle. Wait, I thought we just gave Canopsis Castle to somebody. We gave some, something to Akios. Uh, what does Akios have? Or Karenios. They have three castles, make it four. Oh, wait, no, no. Everybody wants to give it to Har. Really? Now, Harnog, you have enough stuff. You have enough stuff. Give it to Akios. Damn, Haranog. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we just gotta get our relationship with Akios upgraded. There we go. Haranog wants frickin' everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. I wonder how many defenders we have over here in Phaikaeon. I also wonder how, uh... I'm actually curious. We did give it to that guy. Do we, we, do we let them take it? Prosperity? Nah, it's under 5k. It's fun. But, I'll let them have it. But we will really need to get some food. Hopefully they got some food we can buy over here. And let's fight that big old army. It's bigger than our army, in fact. But on this plane, without trees, we should have the advantage. And this should be the last major army that they have in this area, at least. Yes. Alright, I wonder what Illitar's army... Hey, we can't see it anymore. Why could we see it on the map before, but now we can't? Whatever. And oh, you stopped fighting. You. F Why would you do that? Just to try to run? Ha <laughs> uh, look at you fools. Let's see. Uh, do you like us? No, you do not, so we don't have to- Oh, wow, you have a lot of lords in here. Hmm. Let's see how many of them we can capture. Something I'd like to discuss? Nope, surrender or die, buddy. Healer fight. Alrighty, so. Uh, we do have just enough time for this battle. It's gonna be a big one, so let's get to it. Corsaro, Commander, not a lot of infantry, but plenty... Oh, wow, actually, we could really use some more horse archers, but... Uh, do we have any kill advantage? Archers! Oh, we can go up on this hill? Oh, amazing. Yes. Yes, everybody forward. Infantry! Infantry, right, let's say, here on this little hill area. And you can go... Everybody's coming in here. Beautiful. Oh, there's another hill over here, which might actually work towards the for the enemy. A little bit more than it works for us. Hmm. Let's maybe spread out in this little valley. Oh, I really like this map. I feel like I haven't seen it before. Hey, why isn't the edge of the screen glowing? Damn. That freaked me out. Uh, you bowmen, right here. And go for a loose formation. In fact, move up a little bit forward. Uh, infantry forward and go for that shield wall. Uh, footmen? No, horse archers. Go out there. Wait, what? Why are you guys... In a weird formation. What the hell? <laughs> That's unusual. Uh, I guess we put them in a square formation. Square formation. What the hell is this? Forward. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. An empty square. No, oh, doesn't look like an empty square. That's bizarre. <laughs> okay, well then, just do that. Regular cav. Why is something always broken? What the hell is this? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go annoy the enemy until they come towards us. Uh, you guys, you know what? You can go up there and you... you know Maybe let's send the archers up a little bit higher. Right... I don't know. Right here. Oh, but then some of them will be off on the other side of the hill. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. That's okay. Somebody firing at us. I don't see where the enemy is. Horse archers, come along. Move. Yeah, I'm along, please. I'm along and join the fun. And, oh, this is a bridge map? Is that the bridge? Oh, oh, no, 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 Horse archers, back, 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 back. I did not realize what map this was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have a completely different way of doing this. Uh, move. Move. No, no, don't face that way. My bad. 
Frank. Uh, yeah, this is freaking me out. I did not realize that this was the completely wrong direction. Turn! Turn this way. Horse archers, come here. Regular horse, come here. Archers, come here. If they don't run forward, we can uh, we can hopefully cover the bridge with a shield wall and just destroy them. They're gonna have a tough time spawning there. Uh, hopefully, okay, no, no, you know what? You guys go back, go back. Don't annoy them yet. Don't, please, don't, don't make them charge, guys. Guys, relax. Oh, I probably, I probably could have just told them to uh, not fire at will. But I'm a little bit wary of certain commands because I feel like they might, uh, they might get buggy. Footmen, right here between these trees for now. Cavalry, archer. Archers right here. Move, cavalry, Horse Move, right there. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great if we can pull this off. And yeah, they're all they're not all going to cross the bridge, but infantry, enough horse, of them probably archer, will. Alright, you guys are firing, and are they annoyed? Yes, they are. Are they all crossing infantry, the bridge? Infantry move. forward. Infantry forward. I did not think they'd all do this. Damn. Infantry, infantry right here. Forward. Actually, no, no, no. Don't, get back, get back, get back. Let, they, let them take some damage. Let them take a little bit of extra damage. Uh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Scary. <laughs> Infantry, back up a little. Uh, is it too late to back up? Well, a lot of them are charging. You know what? Let's get our horse attacking over here. And let's get the horse archers moving back a little bit away. While the horse take care of this stuff. And you guys back away as well. There we go. Oh, damn the lag, huh? This patch has made it a little bit more laggy, it seems. Or at least it feels. And okay, you guys are still being attacked. Damn. Horse archers, back it up a little bit more. Cav. Charge through this way. Charge through this way. Our infantry is over here, and wow, they have a lot of units. A lot of them are weak units, I will grant. Horse archers keep horse arching. In fact, you guys can delegate. And Cav, a few of you have died. Let's charge you through here. Uh, let us have you guys uh, charge. I know that you're currently in your formation, and I think we need to we need to kill some stuff of course our Help out over here, because we got a lot of enemies. Yeah, kill these guys. Kill these guys. And let's move our cab right over here. Kill their range units as best we can, because every range unit that's over here, dead, is a unit that's not killing our units. There we go, Corsair, good job, buddy. Good job killing as many of them as possible. And What's over here? Chase these guys down. Chase them all down. Oh, di oh, that's a lot more cab than I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, we got their leader of their army there. Ah, the combat feels a little bit different. Interesting. This patch certainly made some changes. I didn't expect it to be as different as it currently is. Oh, damn it. It almost feels like it's faster. Uh, everybody, delegate. Oh, I hope delegation isn't screwed up, though. Hmm. Well, let's have the horse do what they do best. We're definitely gonna get some casualties here, there's no doubt about it. I just saw an elite cataphract die. And I probably shouldn't have taken the cav down here, but... We can go around and kill a lot of their range units like this. If we don't get... If course, Arrow doesn't die very, very quickly. Ah, Javelin, I saw that, I saw that. No more of that, please. And we're losing HP quite rapidly, but we are getting decent amounts of kills and doing damage to everybody. Oh yeah, I missed this. Damn, did I miss this. Everybody's delegating. <laughs> uh, you, come here, come here. 86, come on, come on. And I know that we're losing units, but <laughs> damn it if I'm not having fun. You gotta do this at least once in a while. Wow, the screen is shaking like hell. Chopping these guys. Oh, oh, Grisar's alone. Oh, we're alone, we're alone, we're alone. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, whoops. I wonder where our footmen are. What the hell? What are they doing? Where are they right now? Are they attacking? Or is it just a cab? A uh, cab's gonna take disproportionate losses if we keep doing it like this. And Grisar's almost dead, though. Uh, yeah, just do a little bit more damage as we can. There we go, another kill. Screen keeps shaking. 
Ah, oh, God. Battle should be almost over. Cause I can take maybe one more hit. Oh yeah, there's a lot of these guys still out here. Or there. Gotta continue killing them. Um, I think it's been a while since I've enjoyed a battle this much. Damn. Actually, wading into the enemy. Uh, this guy's gonna kill him with kill us with us with his scythe. Oh, that's one of our guys. All right. <laughs> uh, Corsaro certainly could be wielding a scythe himself, considering how many of the enemy he's reaped this time around. Ah, uh, enjoyable. And I'm surprised he hasn't died yet, although it's probably going to happen real soon. Oh, this guy's already dead, that's why. Keep swinging at those corpses. I mean, it's a thousand unit army. I, pro I definitely could have played this more carefully and suffered a lot less losses to our cab, but whatever. It's about time. And you're down, and is there anybody left here? Everybody's delegated, at least. We should get plenty of prisoners and recruits off of this. A heavy horse died, and I'm not seeing anybody left. Yeah, I was. what I should have done is uh, gotten our units in the shield wall right here, but I got there a little bit, a little bit late. I forgot to tell the, uh, the regular units, the range units, to cease fire so that they wouldn't draw the enemy forward before we approach, but whatever. We have won the battle. Uh, 46 casualties, a lot more than we usually get, but plenty of kills... And, uh, yeah, Corsaro certainly got his blade wet there. 16 kills, though. Oh, 16 uh, losses. Let's see who took the, uh, a brigand died. That's a shame. It's mostly the cabs and heavy horsemen, cataphract. Wow, six heavy horse archers. We can replace those. Yeah, it's all right. It's unfortunate, but it's not horrible. We'll have to replace the horse archers. But for a 1,000-unit army, pretty damn good. 20k, Mew. Relation 65, Argaros, yes, free to go, 100%, always. And you belong to the Osticos who hate us, so you're a prisoner. You also hate us. No, nope, you don't, Varos. We just took your stuff, so you don't like us very much. And, oh, you, you only have one castle, but you have a fair few people. Fine, free to go. Free to go, you belong to the Argaros, so you are free to go. I would really like you guys to join us, but whatever. Uh, ooh, yes, these guys will all join our troops immediately. So that's nine free troops. The Hillmen we could upgrade to Banner Knights, and the Sturgeons we could give to one of our allies. Beautiful. That replaces some of our losses. Now let's see if there's any good collectibles here. Imperial Equites, yes, please. Sergio Peasant don't care about you. Any rare units? We'll take the Mercenaries. I always like to take the Mercs. Uh, yeah, take all the Mercs. And the heavy horse. Replace some of those uh, horses we lost. Uh, I guess we take the Imperial Crossbow. And the Imperial Vets. I don't see any Viglas. Alright, that's about it there. And let's see what kind of upgrades we got. One, two... Yeah, I got a fair few. Highwayman 2, Vlandian Champion X2. Yes, please. And a heavy Lancer. Some nice upgrades. And I guess we get all of these units to join us as well. And all of you. Did I just accidentally take one of you guys? Whoops. Mercenary. Light there. Now we are out of time, so I'm going to call it here. There's a bunch of uh, units to trade between our uh, our armies. I'll do that between the episodes as I usually do, so we don't have to uh, deal with it right now. Yes, we're over the limit. That's fine. I'll leave the rest of the prisoners... We, I could have just taken them all and put them on 5k on, to be honest, but I, I, did, I just don't want to deal with it. We get so little influence for it that I just don't care. And Bent Hickory Crossbow, worth 2,500. We don't use crossbows, but hey, that's one of the uh, higher cost values we've gotten. But not compared to like one of those helms that we got at the very start of the game that was worth like 60k or something. The loot's been just absolute trash for ages. And since we're right beside the uh, city, I'm going to do some shopping between the episodes as well and uh, sell a bunch of our garbage and all that sort of jazz. And when we come back, we will continue. I mean, we got a major army destroyed this episode, plus we got Canopsis, plus Varagos was taken. So I think we head out to San Aopa next and uh, maybe seal up this area by taking Etrion Castle, Ressos Castle, and Diathma. That will take this entire area of the territory to be ours. Still hoping somebody goes to Lavenia without us having to do it ourselves, but uh, I'm, I wouldn't hold my breath. 
So anyway, more deaths for the Northern Empire next time. So with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and a comment to support the channel. It really, really does help. As always, all glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.